What's up y'all? It is me again with another plant talk. I mean, I don't I don't really think that's going to go anywhere. <laughs> All right. Last week I talked about plant pests and I forgot a major 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 plant pest. And I actually dealt with this pest and it came up again yesterday. I threw out a plant yesterday because this pest came up again. And I'm like, how did you forget about talking about it in the last video? Because it wasn't even a problem. The pest came up, I looked at it, and I was like, I'm not gonna deal with it. And I threw it away. And when that happens, you tend to forget. You tend to forget the plant. But you remember, you remember the experience. So my experience with mealybugs. You met them before. You know mealybugs. Have you heard of a mealybug? Have you seen a mealybug? Let me tell you, before I saw one, I didn't know what a mealybug was. I looked at it and I thought immediately, what my my plant has a milk disease it's lactose intolerant because it's excreting fuzzy milk but mealybugs are these little small little bugs that are white it looks like a powdery white substance from a distance but when you get up close it looks like this like little teeny bug with all these little prickly things all over it. and they're really really small um, but you can see with your naked eye up close that it is in fact a bug and they're harmless They just look bad. I don't like how they, they just look bad um, Yeah, they make me go What is that? <laughs> you know, you're just you just don't want someone walking in your house like Why is there powdery white substance on your beautiful green? plant and you have to explain it's mealybugs and they're like well can that shit go home with me but mealybugs no they are pretty much harmless well you know what let me back that up a bit it is super rare that they are harmful to people mealybugs don't really bite people but it has been recorded that if someone has come in contact with it it's super 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 rare that if you come in contact with them that you might get you know a skin irritation but they have also in super rare occasions spread some form of bacteria but it's super unlikely that they harm humans but what they do to your plant is that they bite into it and they suck the sap out of your plant and it's a whole vampire unsexy not twilight situation so you really want to try to get rid of them or get rid of the plant like I did because I was it was a plant that I was struggling to take care of anyway. Like I said, it was a palm. The palm wasn't really filling me and um, my vibe at the time. So this palm was on its way out anyway. And then the mealy bugs was like, ah. So instead of risking the wellness of the other plants, I made the decision to go ahead and toss the palm out. And I had another palm that was actually thriving really, really well. So it wasn't really um, a bad breakup. But, okay, let's say you're not like me and you're like, look, I'm attached to this plant. I'm, I don't want, I don't want to lose to some mealy rockers. If you insist on mealy rocking it out, what I would do is go through and I would clean off the leaves that you see the mealy bugs on, clean them off with a solution that you can find in my ebook that is going to drop soon. Clean the leaf off and then I would repot it because I don't know what's going on underneath so much. I don't know how far these mealy bugs go. So I'm going to repot in brand new dirt and I'm going to rinse off my roots just to be sure. And then once it's repotted in another pot, I'm not going to use the same pot the mealy bugs were found in, right? Sometimes you could just change the dirt, use the same pot. No, with mealy bugs, I'm not going to chance it. I'm going to change the pot, change the dirt. I'm going to neem the plant down and monitor it. I'm also going to isolate it from the other plants because I'm not, I, what? It's just one of me, fighting one plant with mealy bugs is some bullshit in itself. I can't, I can't fight a whole like platoon. I highly recommend if it's just one plant or two plants even that's affected, that you chuck out the plant, the plant pot, the dirt, throw it away. But if you really think that your chances are really strong in saving this plant, clean your leaves, change your dirt, change your pot, and get neem oil. Neem oil is gonna be your best friend. And uh, let me know how it turns out for you. All right guys, so that is my plant talk for today. Go water your plants and please, please, don't forget to pour into yourself. 